Welcome back to my addiction that is backpack battles. Today we're gonna get out once again and build the most beautiful backpack that we possibly can because that's kind of what this game is all about. I'm so glad you guys really enjoyed the first episode of this game. It really is a fantastic strategy game and uh, I'm excited to learn more about it today. I haven't done much off recording, but I have played a couple rounds. Uh, did make it to the survival mode, which is pretty fun and I'm hoping we can do that on, well, screen today. Because, yes, the longer we last, obviously, the more fun this episode's going to be. I really want to start unlocking more of these recipes because you actually don't learn how to make them until, well, you make them. So we're going to try and get a bunch of recipe unlocks today. I'm going to go with the Reaper. I do like the Reaper. She has a nice storage coffin, which items inside have a 25% chance to inflict poison on activation. So essentially, this is a poison class. You can obviously play it however you want, but a lot of her items are going to be poison-based. We'll see how we can do with that. We're going to do an unranked game for the start here because I've only played this class once, I believe. And not a great start for our recipes. Oh, actually, these combine together. So actually kind of a great start because I do want to actually start combining this together. A lot of you guys noticed that I didn't realize you can combine these items together with the blue thing. So... Yeah, we're going to make a shovel. We'll see how the, sh how the shovel works after this. It's also a really good idea to buy anything that's on sale at the start of a round because you can sell it for what you buy it for. So as if you can throw it in a, in a slot, why not get it? And now we have a blind, which decreases accuracy by 5% per stack. Uh, I don't really want any of this other stuff, so we still have four coins. We're going to reroll. We got another fly agaric. This is actually unique to the Reaper class. Every five seconds, inflict one more poison. Yes, please. Do these things work together? No, they don't. So I think I need, yeah, food. I need different food. I don't even know if the fly agaric is food. Isn't that a poisonous mushroom? I'm pretty sure it is. So yeah, we might be doing a food build here. We'll kind of see where we go. Uh, right now, I just want to build the shovel to see what that's all about. So we'll start our battle, see if we can win this first one. All right, it looks like we have a fellow shovel builder over here. So it seems like to be this is a good strategy. I think this person is going to beat me because they have a banana. Never mind, I'm amazing. Thank you very much. And there we go. As long as we can do that a bunch more times, this is going to be a great episode. And there we go. We have built a shovel, which is a rare item. On hit, chance to increase more blindness and shop, enter, dig up a random item. That's so cool. So we're going to do some rearranging here. I want to utilize this coffin as much as possible. This shovel is absolutely massive, so we're going to put it this way. Anything that's touching this... Uh, we can get more poison. So obviously the more items we have in the shovel, the better. We're going to buy this extra slot so we increase our backpack size. And I think I'm going to buy the pan because I do like the pan early on, especially considering we have those two fly agarics. Uh, we can utilize the pan with this thing. So we should get, yeah, two of those here. This essentially deals more damage the more food we have attached to it. I can't afford the banana right now. Ooh, I would like to get the customer card too early on. Unfortunately, it's not on sale, so I'm not going to hold it right now. Well, yeah, I think this is a good build. I don't know. I'm still very much learning how this game works. So we're just going to keep going. I'm not going to save any of these items and we'll go out. Ooh, we got a pyromancer that already has a bunch of fire. I'm a little nervous by this build. Also a hell of a lot more health than me. So that's fantastic. It seems to be I'm doing quite good with the damage. Uh, my stamina usage is high though. So as you can see, my shovel is not working. I'm going to have to address that. But somehow we still won thanks to my pan. All right, speaking of the pan, let's keep that pan going. We're going to combine that with the blueberry. I want to see if we can maybe synergize all this together. I'm going to rebuild this. What the hell? Was that the item that I got? Okay, I got a godly bag already. So yeah, I guess I got really lucky because you dig up a random item with this and I got a godly item from that. If I remember correctly, yeah, godly is the rarest you can get. Unfortunately, it isn't a massive sword or something. It's just a small bag, but that is a great bag to have this early into the game. So I will gladly take that. Okay, there we go. I think that's my best setup right now. I'm synergizing all my food together with the pan. I still have room over here for more food. I'm also synergizing the fly agarics with the blueberry and the blueberries with the fly agarics. So a lot of synergy here when it comes to the food right now, which is kind of how you want to play this game. Uh, we still have nine gold. I don't really want any of this. Actually, plus one damage is kind of nice. I have to redesign my backpack to fully utilize that though, and it's not on sale, so I'm not going to buy it. Screw it. Let's keep going and get more backpacks. Items trigger 10% faster. Uh, I feel like that's a smart thing to get right now. We'll put that up there like that and flip this around like that. That should still... Uh, actually, we got to put it over here, and there we go. That's going to trigger 5% faster. All right, I think we'll just get an extra pocket sand just because why not? I didn't want to have to reset my thing and we had some space in my bag. So we'll throw some extra pocket sand in there. All right, let's see if we can hold up here. Ooh, that's a scary bow. We got a tusk poker. Uh, not sure what that's all about, but okay. 
Uh, I just, I have to work on my stamina. That's what I'm really struggling with right now. Oh, it's going to be close. Okay, there we go. We won again. We are three wins in a row with no losses. So far, so good. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm having fun doing it. What did we just get? Not as good this time. We only got a stone, but we can sell that for a profit, so it's all good. All right, keep with my food build. We're going to throw this onion, sorry, garlic here. Uh, that's essentially, we remove vampirism, which is great now that I think about it because it's garlic. <laughs> Look at this, though. It's all, it's so nice. Uh, doing a food build might be very, very fun. All right, we still have eight coins. I do have to worry about stamina. If I can get some sort of stamina item, that would be great. I don't think I'm going to get that lucky, though. All right, so we're going to throw the extra backpack on here, and I might just buy the wooden buckler just to get some added defense. Oh, I actually don't have enough money. Damn it, I thought I had four left. All right, well, we're going to get the bag of stones then because we got a stone last time, and this will allow this stone to be thrown repeatedly, not just once at the start of the round. Stones are actually pretty good for the start of the game. Two to four damage, and if I can repeatedly throw it, that's some major extra damage. So we still have stamina issues, but hopefully with the added defense and attack of the stones, we'll be okay. Ooh, this looks like a good build. I'm a little nervous by this one. What is that, a burning coal? Yeah, this might be my first loss here, for sure. Uh, stamina is doing totally fine on their side. I'm not doing very good, but I have a lot of health regen, so I have to remember that. Hopefully, it's enough to hold out. Wow. Wow. Oh, I'm so good at this game. Okay, let's let's not get too excited. All right, I'm freaking amazing. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm, I'm amazing at it. All right, and we got another freaking stone. I mean, I guess I can't complain because we got this bag of stones, but this is really something I don't want to hold on to for too long. Ooh, a blueberry. Yes, please. All right, I don't know if this, this pestilence flask is that good, but uh, I consume this... When opponent generates health, I get one poison, but the enemy gets three. Being that we're doing a poison build, I feel like that's uh, a good idea. Also, this synergizes with the Fly Agaric, so we can turn that into a strong Pestilence Flask. We'll throw that uh, Blueberry over there. It's still utilizing the other things. And again, we're still stamina high, but I think we're going to be holding out very, very well. We only got one gold left, so let's keep going here and keep the momentum flowing. All right, this guy's got a huge backpack with not much in it. Seems like he's doing kind of the same build as me, but he's got a steel goobert, which is kind of scary because it's a legendary. Ooh, ooh, he, I don't know why he just growled. I don't like that. He's getting lots of armor. Too much armor, too much armor. Oh God, oh God, this is stressful. Oh, come on, man. What happened at the end there? Oh, I didn't, I wanted to see what happened. I was going to hide that and see, but okay. All right, well, at least we built our strong pestilence flask. I think the only thing that changes is after seven seconds, it inflicts another three poison, which is pretty huge. What is this backpack? Ooh, stamina sack. Yes, please. That's what I asked for. Where'd my fly agar go? Didn't I have two of them? What did it... What ate it? All right, well, we'll buy an extra one of those. That's going to help with my pan. I think I'm going to get rid of the pan. How did I get this sh chip staff fire? That's probably from uh, the spade. I definitely have to get better weapons soon. The, the, the shovel's nice, but uh, my damage output is not very good right now. All right, and I really need one more potion so we can synergize th these together. So hopefully I find one right now and we can reserve it. We did get the thorn whip. Oh, the thing I hate about the thorn whip is it's so annoying to put in my inventory because it takes so much space. I think I'm just going to chill with this for right now. I'm going to save my two gold for next round. We got a full inventory anyways, and we'll see if we can hold out here. All right, so this guy's got a goobert build. Uh, some defense here. Ooh, what is this? A lucky piggy. That's exciting. It's, it's kind of fun to see what these other people are doing. I think we might get this. Yes, we definitely got that. That damage output at the end was insane. Uh, but yeah, I definitely need to address more stamina. Well, I've gotten my answer in the in the form of another stamina sack, so that's good. Uh, reduce damage taken by 25% for three seconds. This cap is pretty nice, but I'm looking for legendary items. So yeah, we'll definitely buy the blood amulet, assuming I have an... Oh, I wouldn't have enough. We need stamina, so let's buy a bag. How exciting. Uh, and I guess we'll just buy the cap of resilience because we can afford it. And we got another fly agaric from the shovel, so thank you. I'll throw that down here. Uh, we'll get rid of the bag of stones pretty soon here, but that's utilizing the pan even more. Actually, hold up. If I do this, will this attach to... No, it, I don't think these things combine together. They don't, do they? No. Okay, so that's unfortunate, but that's fine. So we're getting an extra four damage on our pan. So our pan's literally doubled. My shovel, yeah, I need better weapons really badly. All right, and we'll fix my inventory here. We're going to throw that up here. We'll throw the stone back on for now. We got our extra sand. 
I don't know if I want to hold this blood amulet or not. It's it's a good item, but I'm not doing much in terms of vampiric. So I think I'm just going to hold out and see if we get a new legendary item next round. All right, the banana spade build. Intro what the heck? This is such an organized inventory. I love it. I hope I destroy you, though. Oh, oh, God. Okay, I don't know what this guy's doing, but he seems to be healing a lot. Oh, come on, stamina. Just hold out. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The stamina is so stressful in this build. Okay, now we're in for a big decision. Oh, nothing's on sale. Last time I played, one of these was on sale. So, ah, I don't even know what I want to buy. I've never really used any of these things. So, let's go through this. All right, so the alchemist will essentially upgrade potions for me and heal me quite a bit, which is kind of tempting considering we're in a food potion build here. The nice thing about the Vampiris is it's very small. It's a lifesteal. Mr. Struggles is all about fatigue. That'd be fun doing a fatigue build. Mind you, I'm getting fatigued right now, so I don't feel like <laughs> affecting my stamina and the enemy's stamina is going to be smart for me in the long run. I do need a new weapon. All right, yeah, I think I'm going to go for the Cauldron, which is the riskiest of the builds because it's so big. But I feel like I could trade my pan for the Cauldron pretty easily. Once I get a new freaking weapon, that is. I'm going to buy a banana. All right, we're going to say goodbye to the bag and the stones just because I need space. Uh, we'll throw... Okay, so that works with the Fly Agaric. So yeah, if I put it right here, for example, and say goodbye to my pan... That alone is quite a bit. Hold on here. And if we move things around, this might get really fun really quickly. Mind you, this utilizes potions too. If I can get one more potion, that'd be great so I can synergize my potions. What I'm actually going to do is move everything over so the cauldron's in the middle here. So we're utilizing this as much as possible. Uh, perfect. Look at this. Look, look at that. Oh, it's so good. And then once we get more potions, we can just move them from over here. And that should be pretty good. I have, like, no damage output. My stamina usage is now low because we got rid of my pan. So, yeah, we'll sell that. What else can we add here to synergize? We can put this here to synergize the Fly Agaric more. Is this technically food? No, it's not food. So we'll put that over there. That's just going to give me extra health. I still got a banana. <laughs> Where do I put it? We'll put it over here. Dude, I'm just... All I have is food. I'm essentially a cook. All right, we'll throw the helmet down here. I don't know if this is the best build or not, but I feel like I'm doing okay. I don't need... Oh, I can put the lump of coal in there. Nice. Look at that. How satisfying is that? I have filled my entire backpack with everything I own, and I've also slotted all my weapons with, well, very basic gems because I haven't really found any decent gems yet. All right, I still have 16 gold, so I don't know why I set this all up because it's probably going to change when I uh, buy some stuff here, but I don't really want any of this. I mean, the leather boots are nice. But not for my food build, damn it. Ah, that's what I need. More potions. We also have a protective purse. We'll buy that just because it's dirt cheap. Okay, so we got the stone skin potion. It combines actually with the helmet, I think? Yeah, we can get a stone helmet. I don't know if I want the stone helmet. I kind of want more potions. But we're going to do this for right now. That will synergize with this. And we're going to put the fly agaric here. Only because I want the poison over the banana benefits. Actually, hold on here. Hold on. I can actually put this up here, and then we can <laughs> put the banana up there. <laughs> I would like to buy the other health potion, because why not? So we'll put that there. That's going to turn into a mana potion. No, I don't want a mana potion. Actually, I do want a mana potion, because I kind of need it. There's so many things going on. I'm overwhelmed right now. I think I actually need to drop this down, because I want to make sure the bottom potion is the one that procs first. Because after the potion is consumed, also applies to the effects to the star potion. So essentially, you want the bottom potion to be the first one that is used, right? So I think we'll use the strong pestilent flask first, because I think that's used at the start of the match. Then we'll probably use health potion. I don't even know if we'll use this stone skin potion. Damn it, I want the... Oh, I wanted to upgrade this to a stone helmet, though. How do I do that with this mess of an inventory that I have? Okay, we can put the stone helm up there. We have the banana in here for a second, uh, just because I want to upgrade that stone helm. Uh, we should be able to use the banana next round, assuming we need it, which I don't know. I don't even know if this will go well or not. I feel like it will. I mean, I'm just essentially eating food. That's that's all I'm doing. Okay, so yeah, I only have 22 uh, armor, so I don't even think this potion will work. All right, but so far, my, my as you can see, I'm, I'm not even being touched. Like, the, the moment I get touched, I just eat everything and... Oh, God, may, maybe I don't have enough damage output. Problem is, this guy's got, like, an armor build or something. This guy's got fancy dragon scale armor. Am I gonna win? All I have is I'm literally attacking with a shovel and that's it. And somehow, because I'm healing so much, it actually is working. Okay, what the hell is that? D Demonic flask. I don't even care what it does. That just sounds badass. 
So yeah, I think we'll buy that. Uh, ooh, that can be upgraded in the uh, cauldron as per usual. So we're going to have to uh, get fancy here. We'll put that here. Strong demonic flask will be upgraded next round. I now have my stone helmet, which is a legendary. I'm glad I decided to uh, save for that. Reduces damage taken by 25% for five seconds, and I gain 20 armor. So now I might have enough armor to utilize the stone skin potion, but I don't have it anymore, so it doesn't really matter. All right, we still have seven gold. I'm not really liking any of this. I just, I need a small little, like, fancy dagger or something. That's all I want in my life. Uh, do I want another fly agaric? I mean, it's on sale. It's two gold. Why not? I should be able to throw it in here somewhere. I feel like poison's more important than anything with this build. All right, and with uh, four gold left, I'm just going to hopefully increase my inventory uh, sizing here. And I, I, need, I need way more inventory is what I need right now. We'll just throw, actually... We got one more berry, so we'll throw that down there. All right, we'll throw the healing herb in there, and I think that's as good as I'm going to get it. Back out we go. Oh, we definitely got a fire build here. This one seems like they know what they're doing. Oh, my God. Where where, where did the hell did their health go? What happened? <laughs> I, where, oh, God. Where'd my health go? Oh, this is stressful. What happened there? At the start of the round, they had 50 health, and they won. Well, at least I almost won that. I don't really know what I'm doing, so uh, that worked out. Oh, what is this? All right, if I have at least 20 debuffs, consume this and cleanse 10 debuffs. I mean, that could be helpful. It doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be helpful, though. But again, we can upgrade all of our potions with this build, so we may as well do that. And we can make a strong divine potion next round. Looks like we have the strong de demonic flask. Everything is turning strong, as you can see. Uh, finally, oh god, I didn't even see we got the sword, which is a holy sword. I think we're just gonna keep with the shovel, man. The shovel is working out, kind of. I also don't have enough money to buy anything else, so I think I'm just gonna hold my money. Next round, hopefully, we get a better sword. This is, this is such a weird build. <laughs> oh, and now we're getting to the point where I think I'm just gonna get destroyed. 118 armor. Come on, man. Utilize that food. Look at, I'm, how am I blowing through the armor? Like, the armor isn't even being attacked. Uh, can I just win this without even attacking the armor? Because that's great if that's the case. All right, we got fatigue coming in. They still have a lot of armor, but somehow I'm breaking through that. And we win. Holy crap. All right, maybe I should have went to the holy build because now we have the holy armor as well. We also got another stamina sack, so I will gladly buy that. Okay, so I think I'm just going to keep searching. The spear's not good enough. <sighs> okay, there we go. Hungry blade. That's more like it. Problem with this is I need those hearts to utilize it. Uh, on hit, use one heart to gain one vampiric. The only thing that's giving me hearts is my healing herbs. And I only have... Well, I have two of those, so I guess I could just throw them in there. Uh, we'll, we'll definitely buy this blade because my stamina usage is still medium with that extra blade. So why not throw it in there? Oh, would you look at that? Another stamina sack. We'll, we'll never run out of stamina now. This is great. <laughs> I start with nine stamina. You usually start with five. Ah, uh, we also got more potions. Do I want to get more of these? I mean, why not, right? I feel like the potions are going to be much better than the food in this build, but both seem to be working very well. So I'll reserve that, and let's go out and see what happens with this. Actually, we may as well just throw some more stuff in here before I forget. There we go. I think that's the best because we need those uh, hearts to gain. What is this upgrading with? Oh, the uh, potion to make a strong one. Don't need that because we have this. All right, I think that's the best, though. Let's go out and continue on this weird build. Okay, what is this? He's got two armor. That doesn't even make sense, dude. You have one torso. How do you have two armors on? Oh, this has a lot of weapons. This is like a damage build versus a health build. This is interesting. Come on, man. Just hold out. Eat. Eat all the potions. Oh, God. Eat the potion quick. Eat the potion really quick. Why am I not... Oh, that's the divine potion. I thought that was my health potion. Okay. Uh, what happened? Why when I, when I hit hide, does it go back to the menu? It's supposed to actually hide the menu so you can analyze what happened. For whatever reason, it's not working. Oh, a pineapple. Every four seconds, gain one spike and heal for three. I mean, it is a legendary food, so we'll buy that. We'll throw it in here somehow sooner or later. Uh, uh, I guess I'll buy the demonic flask as well. Okay, so we're going to throw the pineapple on top of the garlic, I think, because the garlic really is a starting food. It just gains three armor and one vamp vampirism. Oh, a chance to remove one from my opponent. And then we'll put the blueberry down here just to utilize that with the pineapple. Uh, I don't know if this is the best layout now. I'm kind of overwhelmed with how many things need to synergize now, but looks like there's a lot of gold stars, so that's generally good. Banana don't really need might be smarter to just throw the demonic flask in here and put this guy over. Give me the helmet, dude. 
Thank you. Yeah, we'll throw this over here. And this one's already strong, so we'll throw this down to the bottom and upgrade that next round. I think that's pretty good. We just need one more food here, preferably. Actually, I think it's probably smarter to keep the stone helmet. It is a legendary item after all. Okay, let's see what happens in this very weird build. With the pineapple, we'll see if this changes much. This one also looks like a defensive build. I don't know if my defenses are better than his. He's using a lot of stamina, it seems like, which is good for me. He's got... How is he holding out so well, though? I mean, I know I have, don't have a lot of damage output. There we go. Okay, I think we are slowly catching up to his, his health. Dude had so much health with that armor. Oh, this is going to be a close fight. I think, I think we got it. He's got some potions at the end that he seemed to have drank there or something to heal him, but we did win. And we need one more win to get 10, and we still have three lives. So, so far, so good. All right, this is the one potion I don't think I really needed is a stamina potion, and I don't think we're going to run out of stamina anytime soon. So we'll just uh, not use that. We got a Din Lamp. I don't really think this is that good because it utilizes my buffs to give my weapon plus 20%. Plus 27 damage. That is a lot of damage, but I really just have a buff build right now. So I don't think I really want to lose the buffs. So we're going to keep hunting for something that might help us a bit more. Okay, we finally have a really good sword. Oh, this might be smart to actually buy. Yeah, I think because we're having so, so many damage issues, let's buy this sword. Now I just got to figure out where I'm going to put it. Immediately, I'm thinking over here is probably the smart idea. Oh, it doesn't fit. Fantastic. Wait, it will when I move this down here like that. And there we go. Problem is that kind of screws up a little bit of my food build, but honestly, it's not too bad. How much money do I have? I have one gold, damn it. I think we're going to say goodbye to the spade. It makes a lot more sense to use the hungry blade at this point. I don't need random items anymore. We're going to put that in there like that. So we're utilizing that uh, damage increase. I'd like to actually get my hungry blade in there if possible. But then I'm screwing up all my food situation here. All right. We'll uh, throw all these in my blade as well because this thing has four slots. We don't have great gear, but hey, it's better than nothing. Oh, I don't know, man. I'm going to buy this blueberry just to put it here. So I'm utilizing that with the cauldron. Uh, can I move this somewhere? Hold on here. Because I would like to get all five, obviously. If possible, I still have this old onion that I can utilize. But I obviously want my stone helmet. So, oh, actually, if I bring this over here. But yeah, now we can throw the stone helmet up there. And it's kind of out of the way. So that's good. And down in the corner, we'll just throw one of these herbs. At this point, I may as well sell some of this stuff, too. Goodbye, Spade. You did well at the start of the game, but it's time to move on. We might actually want to hunt for something better as well right now. I don't know if I want to keep my banana. I think I'll keep it for right now. Let's just roll and see what happens here. Okay. Okay. That's something. I'll throw that over here for right now. And I guess we'll just throw one of my Fly Agarics in there. So we're getting a little bit more poison. All right, I think that's good. Let's keep going. I th is this... Oh, yeah, this is nine wins. So if we win this, we actually defeat... Wow, that is a lot of shields, dude. We actually win the game technically, but then we can go into survival rounds. I oh God, what is this build? I'm actually nervous. Wow, my stamina usage is insane now. This is what I worried about, because now if we don't have enough stamina, we won't utilize this massive sword, which actually really sucks. Uh... Might have just ruined my build with this impractically large sword. All right, can I please look at this now? Okay, so I, I guess I was clicking over here. I had to click the eye to actually see. So what is he doing? So essentially, he's using this Goobert to uh, use his item activation. He gains 20 maximum health and 20 armor with everything it's connected to. That's insane. Okay, I think I'm going to drop down to one sword. I feel like that's the better option because the damage output is just insane. This is five a second and this is nine a second. If I combine these two swords together, I would not get the damage output of this one sword. Uh, so I feel like it's the better idea to just save my money, not buy this. I can even sell this. I don't want to sell it just yet because I have 17 gold right now. I might actually utilize it. But I feel like that's a much better idea. My stamina usage is back to low, so we shouldn't run out of stamina. And we can utilize this big sword. So I would like to get some decent gems for this sword or something. I feel like that's my best bet right now. Oh, hello. Thank you very much. What is this one? Opponent below 30% health, deal 50% damage. I hate it when, when it's opponents below. Because if they're below 30% health, you're probably going to win anyway. So adding more benefits to yourself at that point doesn't really seem like a very good idea. But I'm buying it anyways because it's cool. All right, and we'll throw that in there. Uh, we'll buy this extra bag just for added space. 
Can always throw food in there if we need to. And I'm going to reroll again, see if we can find anything else. We got a stone skin potion again. Uh, I, I still don't have 45 armor, though, so I don't think it's really worth it. All right, let's just try it out and see what happens. I just got to win one more round, man. One more round. Oh, this seems like a good build, too. Why do you have two crowns? This is, this is like a holy build or something. A lot of goober builds I'm seeing. Not many food builds, probably because it's so damn confusing to set up. Oh, this person. How did you get so much armor? All right, I've consumed my first potion. I'm trying to set up my potions right. My strong health potion should be used pretty soon. Wow, they are holding out so well. Is this like a food versus food build? Yeah, they got a big bowl of treats. Made, makes food trigger faster, but we win. Who cares? I did it. I freaking did it. I won 10 rounds. We're going to survival mode. So we gained plus one heart and we need to survive 18 rounds. There's only four left because we lost quite a few rounds as well. So we'll see if we can do the survival mode. Screw it. If we don't, who the hell cares? Uh, what, the, what is going on with the stamina sacks, my dude? All right, well, I'm obviously going to buy it because why not? The more potions, the better. We'll throw a divine potion down here, I guess. Okay, and let's go hunting. Ooh, there we go. I should have got this a long time ago. Consume this and inflict three poison and one poison to yourself again. Uh, we'll reserve that. And I'm going to reserve... I love blueberries just because they're very synergistic with everything else. It's how I've combined a lot of these together. So we'll save that as well. All right, let's see what happens here. I got so many potions. <laughs> and we have a flame build. This seems to be a very smart build. How did they eat? That is an item. So this guy ate that. I don't know how they did that, but that's cool. That's obviously an upgrade that you can get. All right, I have no idea if I'm winning or losing. I have way more buffs than them, so that's good, I guess. But I just... I only have one weapon, so my damage open. Come on, swing! Swing quick! Oh, damn it. Damn it. Don't tell me I'm gonna lose, like, right away. I need to survive three rounds. I got two lives, man. Oh, God, another pineapple. Oh, no. Oh, and, an <laughs> and an another stamina sack. All right, screw it. I'm gonna buy this. I think what I'm gonna do... I didn't want to do this, but I'm getting overwhelmed. I do want the pineapple. We're going for a food build. Even if it's dumb, I don't care. Food is life. We're just going to reset my whole inventory here and rebuild it to the best of my ability. All right. I think I got something a little bit better. As you can see, I'm pretty synergistic with my food. Thankfully, the impractically great large sword, I don't have to worry about synergizing with everything. So only thing I really would like to improve is my potions, but I need to get lucky and get a potion bag for that. And I need something that isn't going to turn my stamina to high. This unfortunately does, so I actually will sell this. We got nine, so maybe we can get lucky and find something. Oh, the same freaking thing I just gave away. Uh, well, I would like the Pestilent Flask again. I don't know where the hell I'm going to put it, but we'll reserve that. Uh, actually, the hammer might be smart. That uses 1.5 a second. That's actually quite a bit, because I think, yeah, my, <laughs> my greatsword is only using one a second. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just put my potion up here just to use one of my fly agarics to turn this into a strong. I know I can use the cauldron as well for that, but as you can see, my potions aren't really connected to the cauldron anymore. One thing I kind of overlooked with this build. I don't need all these fly agarics anyway, so I'm just going to utilize it to uh, eat itself, essentially. I think that's a pretty good build. We'll see what happens here with my two pineapples now. And that guy has a lot more items than me. Man, everyone's running piggy banks. I guess you do gain a lot more gold. That's pretty cool. This is the kind of stuff that I want. The Death Scythe, man. I'm not finding any of the good weapons here, but whatever. I'll just eat pineapples for the rest of my life and somehow hold out. Like, look at this. This is insane. I should not be winning. This lady has two shields and a massive Death Scythe. And I win. I won. All right. This is, this is just going to continue where I get, like, the smallest upgrades. Give me a gem. Sorry, not the gem bag. I want a potion bag whatever they're called i know they're in this game maybe it's for a specific uh class i have no idea i don't need any more of these divine potions i definitely don't i don't even want the ones i have oh now i get a ruby egg well two rounds to hatch it i don't think we have time anymore I'm trying to figure out if i want this heart container or not we do get regeneration with this so it is nice i don't really need holy items for it to be utilized yeah i think it would be smart to at least hold that for right now i don't know where i'm gonna put it that's the problem i guess i could get rid of two of my potions Okay, so we can definitely put this here. Ooh, ooh, Heart of Darkness, yes. That's what I like. What, what am I supposed to put this in there? Yes, okay, so that's how we get the Heart of Darkness. Also, that upgrades this as well. Uh, so I guess goodbye to that. Um, oh God, is this good? I don't know if this is a good build or not. I definitely want to get this strong Pestilent Flask down here. So what do I want to get rid of? I feel like I'm not going to get Divine Potion utilized twice, so I'm going to get rid of that one, and I'll throw that down near the bottom because that should be used pretty quickly. 
Because you got to remember, I'm trying to make these potions go in the order that they're used because after being consumed, applies the effect of the potion without consuming it. So essentially, these things can stack on top of each other if the potions are not used in the middle of this list. So I'm trying to figure out the best ones to do at the start. So I think we'll do these two right here. Mind you, it doesn't make sense to combine these two together, does it? Because they're the same potion. I'm still very much learning how the potions should work, I should say. So I don't know if I'm doing this exactly right, but it seems to be going okay. All right, we're just going to keep hunting here. Uh, okay, we finally got the dagger that I was looking for, but I don't really need it anymore. I, I guess we'll just keep collecting these protective purses. And that allows me to put this fly garlic here just to fill it in. Uh, I think I'm just going to... These sell for eight? That would be a good moneymaker to just upgrade these potions. I think I'll hold it for right now in case I do finally get that damn gem bag. Sorry, I keep calling it gem bag. The potion bag. Oh, that's a cool sword. That's much cooler than mine. I wonder if that's what I'm making. No, that's the busted blade. Uh, wow, we got a lot of health, don't we now? I didn't realize I had 400 frigging health now. Oh, God, this guy is doing a lot of damage really, really quickly. There we go. Oh, God. Oh, what happened to me? Damn it. Damn it. I got one life left. All I need to do is survive. This is literally the end. Either I die or win. I need to survive one round and I have one life left. This is stressful. I might actually do the survival mode. But this final round's a pretty big decision here. What do I do? I don't know. Do I buy an a <laughs> third pineapple? Screw it. They've worked so far. Let's keep going with the pineapple build and we'll throw it right here. Does this still work? Oh, that, that actually doesn't work because it doesn't synergize with the other pineapples. Damn it. Okay, I think I got something going here. Uh, this is like just, just Tetris the game at this point. I put the pineapple up there. At least it's using three. These ones are still using quite a bit. Uh, unfortunately, this one's not as much, but this one's actually pretty good over here. Uh, if I can get a blueberry, that would be, that would make me happy, actually. Go blueberries, damn it. Uh, well, I got a, I don't even, I, can, I don't even think I can fit that anymore. All right, so we'll just buy an extra health potion, because why not? Just for good luck. Actually, I have potions down here, damn it. All right, so we're going to get rid of the strong demonic because if opponent's health drops below 50%, we're going to win anyways. And I'd rather get the strong pestilent flask in here. That combines to the health flask now, at least. I think that's as good as we're going to get it. So I'm going to actually just hunt for something with the rest of this because this is pretty much the last round anyways. So we got 26 gold. Yes, please. No. Maybe. Yeah, I think that would... Oh, wait, 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 wait. All right, I'm going to buy this bag. How much money do I got? I still got 21, so we can probably fill this. I'll buy this to fill that. I think I'm just going to say goodbye to the death scythe, only because it would take a freaking hour to figure out where to put that thing. All right, hold on. Hear me out. I can afford this if I sell one thing. <sighs> my, my stamina usage is low. If I put this in, I might go to medium. I feel like that might be a good idea. So I'm going to sell this for two. We're going to buy this just to see what happens over here. It goes to high. I feel like high might be okay. This might have killed my whole strategy, but I feel like I just need a little bit more damage output. And I think that might be what I needed. We did drop our pineapple by one, I believe, for that. But I think it's worth it. All right, we'll see what happens. We got two decent weapons finally. Still have no armor. Oh, God, this is such a good build, isn't it? Oh, this looks like such a good build. I am so nervous right now. Oh, please survive this. Please, just let me win. Oh, how, how do I get the most legendary player at the end? I didn't even touch them. Oh, that was, that was so close to a success. I mean, we still won. We just didn't win the survival mode, but we still gain all of our trophies. So that's exciting. I'm now over 105 trophies. And that's very exciting because I can buy one wardrobe item. What do I want to buy? I feel like I need to buy it for this girl because she, she did well for me. Not buying the damn scythe because you didn't give me it. I'm going to buy the casket. There we go. All right, our first item. And on that, guys, we'll wrap up this episode of Backpack Battles here. I got to say, that was a really fun build, just focusing so much on food. I didn't expect to do that. But hey, it worked out pretty well, considering my limited knowledge of this game. I'm pretty happy with how we did. Let me know what you guys think of this game. If you have any suggestions on how I can improve, please let me know in the comments below. And yeah, thanks so much for your continued support, guys. Thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey there, before you go, I just wanted to let you know about my second channel, Gast. If you're missing my multiplayer shenanigans, then please consider checking it out. Scan the QR code or copy the link down below. Okay, bye. Captain! It's too bizarre. Why am I bizarre? What's wrong? That face is too, it's it's too messed. Here, put the smiler on. Somebody show him. Oh Here. my god. No, I'm keeping it.